Hey everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic Multiplayer Mod Reviews. Today we have Krildor, the Ambush, which is part of a larger series of mod that tells actually a uh, very cool custom stories where we have the, uh, I think, Sith cultists versus... Uh, like a union, so we actually have both clones and droids and aliens fighting on the same side. Now, it does take the uh, Bespin platform architecture as its main base. Of course, make some custom stuff in there because we have the Death Star, the Death Star 2 actually in the uh, in the sky there. Or maybe actually it's the first Death Star being built. I'm not entirely sure what the creator wants with this. As you can see, we have a ton of units though. That's very, very cool. However, and in general, this map is actually pretty dope. However, there's one thing that, in my opinion, does ruin this map, uh, and that is the forced green fog that's very harsh and very clear. And the thing is, whoa, okay, I died. When you actually enter in a uh, plane, actually here we can see Woozy, if you actually fly out there, you can actually see that the map looks beautiful in and of itself. It's just when you actually get really close to the surface and you actually have that green fog that it just looks really, really ugly. And not to the point where I hate the fact that, for example, it was chosen for the color green, but it's artificial. It's like this wall. And actually, So here we actually have now a very beautiful view of the map. As you can see, the map is huge, very varied. We have the platforms here, then these narrow sort of like tunnels and bridges. We have corridors. We have bigger buildings you can actually enter. We have even some uh, Maigito architecture in there to make it more varied. Auto turrets, things in the sky. Overall, beautiful. But if we fly close, here you can see it. It's the fog. And if you, for example, land, you can literally see, like, the first few meters ahead of you are clear, and you can literally see a hard edge where the fog starts. This, to me, is a big no-no. All right, uh, Ryan, <laughs> you take it away. What do you think of the... the yeah, the, the, like, the, the first thing I did is I got in the ship, and I thought, wow, it looks really nice. But then, yeah, now I'm on foot, and, it, yeah, it's fart fog everywhere, and it looks terrible. Yeah. You are the Sith, though. That's really cool. You have a lot of custom... Again, the, the, mod, the mod itself is really cool where you have all these custom uh, units, but these custom units also are in the other maps, so uh, that will not necessarily change how epic that is. Again, we have Geonosians fighting. It's, it's all over the place. It's really, really dope in terms of the units that you can be. Ah. And in case one, one might think like, uh, you, do you just like hate the color green or hate the green fog? No, no. Uh, I hate how... Um, like like clearly it is visible to where like there's a hard cut with the rest of the world and we will actually have a map very soon as well where the creator did choose for a green color palette and where there's like this green fog around you but it surrounds the whole entire screen giving you a more natural feeling to it like the the contrast between the green and the orange tone of the bespin area is just it's too big it's too big, and I don't know what it what it represents. I don't know if it like represents the gas, you know, because we're we have the Bespin, of course, famous for the gas things. I mean, there's literally gas coming out of the vents here. Yeah, it uh, leaves a bit to be desired. Like it, it reminds me of this really old, uh, like I think it was a launch title on the PS2 called Summoner. Mm -hmm. And it had horrible pop-in and horrible fog effects to try and cover the pop-in. Mm -hmm. I mean, this game doesn't really have bad pop-in really at all, but that horrible fog effect just it takes me back to that. Yeah, and it's so it's such a waste too because the map itself looks so cool. Like I'm on the platform here, I look out all the way, look at how big that is. Like a base there with a fence around area, the gas balloons above it. The map itself, in my opinion, is is really really cool. Like there are things yeah, happening like where there's the the tie fighters and everything flying around us. But uh, like yeah, like what would you say? What is your opinion of the map just itself? If we take the green fog away, I don't know. The the map itself is is pretty cool. I like the map. Like you said, when you get into a spaceship and you have a nice view of it, it looks great. Yeah, it's nice and open. Lots to do. It looks like. Yeah. A little glitchy here and there, where, for example, some of the bridges are just connected to each other. Mm. But that's something I can uh, overlook. 
Like I do like if you also press M for the map, you can see that there's like this this uh, particular lane battle that the creator had in mind, which is really really cool. Like I'm on this narrow bridge and it feels really epic as we actually try. Also, even the star destroyer in the sky actually moves around. It's not a static object. Mm -hmm. Really really dope. And I mean again, what do you think then about the custom units? Uh, I like the like the the royal guards pretty cool to play as i was just playing as the um the arcanine mm -hmm. i'm not a big fan of that one okay i don't know if he has less armor or what or whatnot but uh yeah like i take like a shot and i feel like i'm dead ah uh, yeah there are actually like gas barrels around if you like shoot and they explode it's a nice little touch Again, there is a lot going on. It's such a shame. I mean, the more I play it, the more I can kind of, like, get used to the fog and see through it. But it is something that's very much, like, stands out the first few minutes you play it. And I, and I think still that removing that effect would benefit it greatly. Yeah, I think so. Well, actually, after I, uh, if this guy dies, I'll get into a TIE Fighter or something. We have these cool, like, super battle droids. They're, like, bigger than normal, normal I think. Oh shit. <laughs> so nervous. Ah, no! No! Balls. Like, there's some straight up Old Republic units actually on your side. Like, that droid? That you can be straight up from Knights of the Old Republic. Have you played that game? Knights of the Old Republic. Yes! But. The Bioware game. Old. Not a lot. Ah. Oh, I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the, you mean, the, like, the main unit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's in, uh, like, in, yeah, the MMO, he's, like, a bunch of these are, like, uh... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. At least one of them is, like, a boss unit. They might be the, the prototype battle droids. Yeah, no, I'm on the key. Again, like, I'm having this epic battle here, though. Like, we're with my team going through this, like, tunnel. We're almost at, like, the main base. With the fenced off area. Again, the build-up is great. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. Like, the fog really does feel like it holds the map back a bit. Yeah. I want a TIE Fighter. Give me a TIE Fighter. Yeah, I want to get into a plane as well. <gasps> oh, look at this! Holy fucking shit! This is the straight up the dude from the, the Old Republic troopers. Havoc Squad represent! Aha, there we go. TIE Fighter, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme! There I we go. I did realize that I spawned in a location where there's not really much air vehicles. Have you ever played uh, Battlefield with like a flight yoke? Like a flight stick? Yeah. Nope. I assume so. Do you even know if it supports them? Uh, no, but uh, I assume so. The addition of auto turrets is also a cool thing. They do actually work. Ow. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm um, spawn here. So, has anyone in chat seen Solo yet? I'm writing Solo. Oh god, you wow, you, you made it worse. Okay. That'd be pretty great though if the uh the uh the end title credits have uh that song. That song. That'd be worth God damn it! Oh, there's an air vehicle. You take like one shot, I it's feel like I'm taking one no, shot. No, it's mine. I... Don't leave. I do have to say, like, th this map, size-wise, is perfect for flying vehicles. Sometimes maps are too small, where you have to turn every few seconds. This one does yeah. not have that. Oh, man. Well, oh, did I kill you? Was that you in the TIE Fighter? Yeah, it was. Yes. 
Though it did feel to me like I bumped into you instead of sh sh shooting you. Yeah, I, well, like I said, I'm dying in like one hit for everything. It's kind of... Yeah, you're very delicate. Oh, in chat, uh, no ammo says, uh, I skipped the last two movies. Uh, plan on skipping the rest. I have no desire to see Solo. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if my fan base will, start, will also slowly start to uh, not have an interest in stars anymore. I mean, I still have an interest, but boy, is it not the same as it was before. See, that's the thing is, I don't have an interest, like, I, I have, I'm of the same sentiment. I don't have any interest in the new movies that have been coming out. I have no interest in seeing Solo other than to shit on it uh, in the eventual review we're going to make of it. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm quite sure that when I see it, it'll not be as bad as I think it would. Like, my expectation is so low, and I saw this... Ha! See what I did there? Holy shit, so low. Ha ha ha! Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, the... I saw this, this this small clip, I think I talked to you about this uh, last time as well, where um, Han and Lando have a, a conversation. And I thought, oh, well, I expected worse. So, you know, I'm uh, I'm not sure yet. It might be, it might just be meh for me. It's probably not going to be a good movie, but probably since my expectations are so low, it's going to be uh, a little higher, and so it's going to be a meh movie for me. I mean, I have no expectations for it either, but, uh, yeah, I, I still think it's going to be shit. Try, try, it's just, try, try. I don't, who wanted that movie? I, no I one. Yeah, exactly. It's also, uh, I actually read today that it is the lowest, uh, like, opening for a Star Wars movie ever. Like, oh, um, yeah. like uh, money-wise. They're struggling to reach 115 million. Yep. Pretty abysmal for a Star Wars movie. Yeah, and actually, it was even like a longer weekend. Like, if it was a Memorial weekend, apparently, uh, it would have not even reached a hundred million. But that's the thing. So I have, I, I still haven't seen the Last Jedi. I really don't want to see Solo. I also, I have no real desire to see the Last Jedi. <laughs> don't. Um, it'll, it'll ruin Luke Skywalker for you. But, but so that's that's the thing though is I still love the original trilogy. I still even like um, uh, the Force Awakens. But yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. But you, but you didn't like Rogue One. I do like Rogue One. Rogue One is one hell of a se uh, fan service thing. But I I am very uh, sensitive you give a to fan service. about so. the characters? Like, who who gives a fuck? Well, they die, so it's fine. <laughs> Spoiler. That's one way to think about it. Oh, this is a, this is a bit messy. Yeah, trying to play a sniper on this map is pretty ugly too. What is it? Is it difficult? It's like difficult to just because nah. you you have a you have a lot lot of visibility, don't you? Like you can look yeah. very far. So it's you would just, yeah, it looks gross. Oh, okay, it looks gross. Yeah, because you would think that playing a sniper would be very beneficial though, in terms of, like you get a lot of kills because you can look so far ahead. Post. Yeah. Because it's so like it's such a straight lane, you have easy pickings there. How many? I need to kill. 21 more to unlock Jedi. Woozy's just flying all around. Hey, RJ. We also have 700. We'll play for, um... Probably 100 more points, and then we'll also stop this video, because I think people understand what this uh, map is all about. Uh, if you do want to check this out, uh, the link can be found in the description down below. If you also have any tips or suggestions for maps, please let us know, and we will get to play it, review it. Please do make sure, though, that the map is multiplayer compatible, because not all maps are. Why is the Death Star there, though? That's kind of curious. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hostiles have gained a command post. So what movies oh. are coming out that people are excited for? God damn it. 
You could not get the mods to work. That's another hmm. command post under Republic control. So you ignore me. Ah, oh, goddamn. Every time it's like one shot and dead. Ha! Huh. Woozy just likes flying. So yeah, once the enemy t uh, timer ticks at 700, we'll uh, stop the video. I mean, I could play as a Jedi, but I think we all got the the picture. Command post under attack. Again, the map itself has potential. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges here with glitching uh, textures, etc. Things popping in. Um, but if it was streamlined, it could work and would be a really, really cool... Uh, and pretty unique map uh, at that as well, where you have this big like lane battle, this single lane battle. But yeah. uh, again, the the fog needs to needs to go. Unfortunately, I mean, look how beautiful the map looks from a distance here, where it's just clear, crisp, and uh, yeah. I'm getting hit by auto turrets. <laughs> Alright, since we're pretty much at 700, I'll land an enemy base and see how much damage I can do before stopping. This platform's very high, I might actually die from the jump. Ha! Oh, wait. Uh oh, that's higher than I thought. No jumping damage! I did not know that. Very strong. Yeah, you're right, actually, that some of your units are super delicate. Like, I have the feeling I need to sometimes hit them only twice or something and they die. Yeah. Which makes melee units really difficult to play as. Yeah. I'm not sure... Are there a lot of shield generator units, or...? I don't know if there's some I am right. I'm the commando and he is a little bit of a shield oh look at this though this is interesting so the mat the match uh, reversed so now you guys are all on the left side and we are on the right okay because you guys captured that all those points and now we took it back Yeah, I don't know. I get like nicked by a by a stray shot. It seems, and I fall over. Mhm. Mm Hostiles have gained a command post. I'm so in inclined to like shoot the super battle droids, but it, like I gotta flip that switch that they're actually on my side. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? There are a ton of units though, by the way. That's something I do like. Yeah. Definitely more even than though the... it's so big, it doesn't feel... Well, it still feels a little... A little sparse, but... Uh, not as bad as something like uh, that no. cheek map we played. Go away. Did you see you, dick! Uh, you, you definitely, that character that you were, I definitely had more HP than some of your normal characters. It took me uh, a while to actually kill you. This stupid little hover thing killing me. Alright, I died. Okay guys, that is it. We're going to leave it here. Again, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description down below. Let us know if you want to see any particular maps in the future, and we'll get to it. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next review.